Hello, this is Krasimir and this time we're going to show you how to use Typeflow Fluid Force with FumeFX. When you open the start scene, you see that there are already several elements like FumeFX Grid, FumeFX Source and some collision ground planes. So for a simple source, it's a box source that covers some area of the FumeFX Grid and we'll use it as our wind source but we'll emit the smoke as well so you can visualize in a viewport where the velocities are and how are they moving so we can visualize how the leaves will be moving along those velocities uh, directional velocities are set to 1.0 which means that this source will emit velocities in the vector direction with the turbulence amount 1.0 and the scale is 10 units so when we open up the film effects we have selected the film effects simple source and film effects ground collision so we have two different ground planes planes one is the ground which we'll use uh, in tie flow as a collision collision object for our leaves and we have another ground plane that's a little bit offset from the first one because uh, when the film fix will emit velocities in the grid it will collide with this collider and velocities that are one voxel thick might not be deep enough for some leaves that may get stuck inside the mesh so we want some areas that around the tie flow collision mesh to have velocity so we can move a leaf that eventually gets stuck on the surface in the film effects grid it's a simple simulation where we have the simple source as the source and we have the ground film effects ground collision as the collision object so velocities will flow along those small hills spacing is one centimeter and will simulate for 200 frames with the minimized grid enabled all the area that's empty inside the grid will be erased and saved to disk so you don't waste time uh, for the saving and even for rendering exported channels will export smoke and for velocities we've chosen losing quality of 60 which means that will be loosely compressed to disk because we don't need detail we'll just use them to uh, follow the type flow particles and we'll play back for 200 frames inside the simulation rollout we'll use QCG solver with default parameters advection stride of 1 and you will use vorticity 2 and strength is 0 0.9 we'll have a little bit of turbulence in all directions with a scale of 20 and frames 20 and detail 1 we don't need to simulate fuel and we'll simulate smoke just for the visualization visualization of the flow of course for the temperature we're not going to emit it so it's not going to affect film effects at all and for the rendering we can just enable smoke for the for the viewport and we're ready to start our simulation during the simulation we can select film effects and we will want to display our velocities but before you click the voxel data display let's enable velocities and we'll display them in a slice so that's the y and that's the z axis so this position should be should be inside the grid so we can 
enable voxel data display to see where the velocities are. With this threshold you change basically the colors between the minimum and maximum velocity. So I'll pass here until the simulation is done. So this is a very simple simulation and it should be done within a few, few minutes. So let's see what we have here. So we have nice velocity field until frame 200 and if we enable smoke this is how it propagates along those velocities and that would be perfectly fine for the lift. So if you see this slice let's show the wireframe it it go velocities go a little bit beneath the first mesh for collision mesh for tight flow and our film effects collision mesh so that's what we wanted and now we're going to create a tight flow we can disable display so we'll create tight flow somewhere We'll open the editor and we'll disable the default gravity so we can use inside the tie flow. So we're going to use a birth operator and we can start particles from frame 30 until some film effects velocities get into read and advance the great dimensions and we'll stop emitting at frame 100 we'll position object and we'll position on the on the box okay so we have particles created on those faces. We'll add them a leaf shape. Okay, let's make it a maple leaf. And we'll scale them around 200 and variation 50 and for display we'll use geometry so oops so there will be born inside the box and we'll add some initial rotation random 3d will be okay and we'll leave it just default as it is as we have removed default gravity we'll use a gravity Force gravity of if we leave it minus one as it is default, you'll see that those leaves are falling really, really fast. So we're going to reduce it to zero point zero one. So So the leaves will be falling naturally and we'll 
simulate the air friction by the slow operator. So we'll slow it like 2%, that will be just fine. And now we'll add, add the physics collisions. So we'll add physics shape. That's okay. Convex hull will be fine. And we need to add the physics collision. So this will be our ground object as a collision. We need to change the, the physics operators below what you have. And you'll see that leaves will collide with the, with the ground plane. Okay, now we need to add the fluid force. So, fluid force, we'll have to pick the film effects node. And we're going to leave the grid velocities to be blended what's computed with the, within the type flow and for rendering we'll need to add a mesh for the collision we have set as a hull type as a mesh and uh, for the leaves Use the convex hull, which will be okay for for this scene. Now you'll notice that when you move the slider, tie flow goes through the frames and advects velocities and our leaves along film effects grid. So if you go to the final frame, it'll take some time for the film effects for the tie flow to cache all the particles. Now if we play back, you see the leaves that are moving along film effects grid velocities, but they're moving even for the frames that are not simulated. So we'll have to go back to tie flow and to the fluid force change uh, timing, but make sure that whatever you change in tie flow with the fluid force, you rewind your time slider back because otherwise, whatever you do, whatever change you do, tie flow will have to go through all the frames to <coughs> include your change. So we'll use the frame from zero to two hundred, and we'll let tie flow to recompute our simulation. Once completed, you will notice that the simulation is quite different now. So the leaves will be moving for 200 frames and later on, because there are no film effects velocities, the leaves will start falling uh, to the ground floor. But what we need to add is a little bit of of spin to the leaves. So make sure to move your time slider all the way to the start and inside the tie flow we'll choose the spin. I'll put it right here. Uh, rate 300 and variation of 50 will be okay. So, let's compute everything again. When the simulation is done, you can see that there are nice 
tumbling in leaves when they move so it looks a little bit more more natural natural so thank you for watching and we'll follow with more fume effects and tie flow tutorials thank you